Now, moving on to understand here, how is the soil erosion happening and what are the methods that we need to follow to have soil conservation. First, let us try to understand what is soil erosion. The topmost layer of the soil getting washed away by water, by wind or by any natural calamity or disaster leads to soil erosion. The topmost layer of the soil meaning here the entire soil which is present will get flowing away with the water or will be raised away by the wind which results in soil erosion where the soil content will become very less there that is called soil erosion. Soil formation we discussed earlier it takes millions of years to form one centimeter of soil on the land. So soil formation and soil erosion go hand in hand. Soil formation and soil erosion must be together otherwise it results very very dangerous. And now what are the some of the factors that are making the soil to be forming into eroded state? One, overgrazing, overeating up of the land of the grass actually on the land. How can overgrazing result in soil erosion? We all know that on land you have grass growing. Daily you are eating the grass which makes the land to get dry there and gets daily getting sun rays directly and getting dry here. Once it gets very dry, when it get connected with the rain water or the wind flow, the topmost layer will go up. That's how overgrazing results in soil erosion. Then moving on to the winds, glaciers. These winds and glaciers make deep gullies, make a big big holes and take away the entire winds, the entire soil resulting into gullies. Then when the soil, topmost fertile soil moves away, that good, very good agricultural land turns into a very bad land. That resulting in failure of agriculture in that particular field or particular land. So one example what we have is Chambal in the Rajasthan state where it is also known as ravines. Ravines means the place where the entire soil erosion has happened. It's called ravines. So what are the different categories of soil erosions? If the topmost soil sheet, entire sheet of the soil gets eroded, that is called sheet erosion. If the entire topmost soil layer, the entire layer gets eroded, that is called soil erosion. In that category, we have sheet erosion. If it is happening in the form of like fingernails, some, some places, small, small parts, it is getting over. Like how do we get fingerprint on a mud? Then in that particular place only you get the soil erosion means not the entire complete sheet small small parts if it takes away and goes that is called real, er real erosion sheet entire sheet will go away like fingers small small parts will be flying real when it makes holes or like big big places of empty this land getting turned entire land then again the entire soil then again up then again down that results in gully erosion so we have three major categories of erosions also sheet erosion rill erosion gully erosion and moving on to the what are the best methods to have soil conservation how to save our soil from getting eroded from getting eroded first one terrace cultivation when you are having the terrace lands from where the water will flow and make the entire soil to go away, there you take the terrace cultivation. When the cultivation is developed, the force of the water will be restricted. Mud will be held by the plants, by the roots of the plants. How mud will catch, I mean plant will catch the mud, you will get general physical doubts, no? So mud will be held by the roots of the plants, which will make the soil to remain there. The roots will act as the connectors between the mud and the down layers of the soil which makes the soil to hold very strongly there. So the mud will not get evaporated there. I mean doesn't get flow away from there. This is very good in uh, the soil regions or Himalayan belt where in the western and the central Himalayan region we have very good improvement of terrace cultivation which resulted in very very positive sign. Then we need to have strip cropping. What is this strip cropping? Strip cropping is a cropping you take a large piece of land where you have entire farm. The entire farm has been divided into small small strips 
and where you need to plant in these small small strips a line of grass a line of grass giving an interval times of gaps a line of grass when the line of grass has been laid when generally wind comes the plants will automatically get tendency to flow bend towards this side or that side grass doesn't bend it gets standard like that will be grass doesn't have any stem no it stands like that only so that grass will get that one hold it so it can preserve the soil erosion it can stop the soil erosion these strips where you kept the grass is known as shelter belts they are actually providing shelter for the crop or the soil not to move away from there and also it is resulting in it has been proved very successful in western india that is the stabilization of the sand dunes so it has been very fantastically proved so we all can believe in that and we all can follow this one these are some of the methods which can be followed to stop the soil erosion which results in soil conservation so in this lesson we have discussed what are the different categories of resources what is a resource how can we explore the resource positively as gandhi ji told there is enough for everybody but there is not there is no end for greed so it's for few people greed it is at the cost of all the others interest that should not be there simple is better small is beautiful all these quotations always remains in our mind that we need to go according to our requirement not according to the entire nations eating away in one person's hold that doesn't lead to good results then we have seen the different categories of land utilizations india specific specifically we have discussed how the land pattern is used in india then we saw the different kinds of soils what is soil erosion what is soil conservation i hope you all understood this one the key questions from this you will get division of the resources you need to draw the diagram what are the different resources that are found here then you need to understand what are the best ways of using land and then how to stop soil erosion different categories of soil erosions are the key questions which will be asked in the examination so you need to focus in these areas for this unit if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbse syllabus